Welcome everyone to my tutorial on how to read files in C Sharp. I did one earlier on how to write files, so I figured I might as well do one on how to read files. Um, so I'm going to just start it and show you what it does. Basically I open up a file into this. This is uh, reading all the text. If you watch my previous tutorial, you know there's a write all text, write all lines, and write all bytes. Well there's also a read all text, read all lines, and read all bytes as functions or methods or whatever. So it opens this up as text. You can open up as lines, which is basically the same thing, just in a slightly different format. And bytes. Just, I just have it putting literal bytes like the actual number for the byte down instead of converting it to text. Um, just because that's cool. Anyways, um so let's start off with the first button, which is reading all the text. So you just do a string text, file read all text, and then I have open file dialog, dialog here that I set um, the file name to be, so whatever you select. And then I set rich, dot, uh, rich text box dot text to equal the text. Okay. Uh, the next one, read all lines, so instead of it being just regular string, it's a string array, and then you just set the lines to be equal to the text. So yeah, basically the same thing. Uh, this if you want it in array format, it might be easier with whatever sort of code you do, but it's not that much different from reading all text here. And then bytes is a little bit different, where you open up in a byte array, and then you're able to uh, run through that. So I just have it run through that and, and convert it to string. You can also do like char, and I'll show you what that does when you convert it to char before converting it to string. Basically, you get the letters instead of, say, just like this. And they're spaced out like this with a space in between just because I had that, this little extra space here for, um, for uh, in between the numbers so that they didn't get, like, connected. So, yeah, they wouldn't, it wouldn't normally be like that. So, yeah, I hope this helped you understand how to uh, read files in C Sharp. Um, this kind of goes along with uh, writing files in C Sharp. I think that was two tutorials ago or something. So go ahead and check that one out too if you want. And that's all I have to show you. So bye.